And welcome back to the Crystal Bear doing some intense walking at the moment. I'm going to see by golly about an engine. Which How is that? Is that exciting. is it a good intro? Yeah. You appreciate that. It wasn't too much. Um I mean it was fine. You know. What what do you mean it was what would you have done better? <laughs> Look, Logan, I'm just saying, you could have put a little more emphasis in it. Like, you gotta scream like PewDiePie and Markiplier. Be like, Hello and welcome to my LP. I'm playing uh, this with my girlfriend, who is actually just a prostitute I hire. Just kidding, just kidding. What, I'm sure it's actually, actually his girlfriend, and she's a really nice woman. Was that, was that your PewDiePie voice? <laughs> It, it was my combination Markiplier. I told you I don't want an onion made engine. What's oh, the no. idea? Stop being so stubborn. I, I do Just like the word onion me. as uh, no a racial slur for little tees. Oh, they actually use it. Yeah. Mm. Oh, really? Come on, guys. Act your when Lael's <laughs> having to tell you to act your Lael age, you know was getting bad. very sassy. <laughs> He's like, oh, your ideas, that's just unrealistic. <laughs> Ooh. That's Colonel Kais of Everyone's so sassy now. I know. It's ridiculous. Kais got a new jacket and he's swaying his head. That, that jacket is pretty swank, gotta yeah. admit. Sorry, Kais. Like, better than Lael's fur coat chainmail thing. Mm, only slightly. Voice actor for Vigali like does seem like he doubles for, like, hey, the cookie hey, monster. See us for cookie! I don't want to buy an onion! <laughs> you smell more like grease than onions! This is my angry voice! <laughs> My half of my face is missing and is replaced with bionic parts. And we haven't even invented the steam engine yet. Hey, don't, don't be critical. Steam's complicated. You know, metal, you just pour it on the guy's face. And it's like, shazam, good as new. And it's good as new, right? Although, like he says, the next meeting might hurt. Ooh. It's a little foreboding there. Oh man. <laughs> Saving and loading at the same time. Holy shit. <laughs> pretty, pretty intense. Yeah. Uh, so, now what are we doing again? I've actually kind of forgotten. Uh, well, I watched the cutscene very closely. By <laughs> <Yeah>. golly, <laughs> was upset. Uh, Sid was called an onion. Um, Kais, uh, strolled in and was like, bleh, and now we're riding on a train to a location. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're chasing the uke now. Okay. Oh, yes. You did ask about a uke. I guess I just totally missed that somehow. Don't feel so bad, Zach. Come on. I mean, we're speedrunning this pretty well. Yeah. That's all right. So, I don't know why there are so many people dressed up in monk's robes. Or cultist robes, depending on. But no matter who they are, fuck them. Throw them <laughs> to the ground. So, this guy is great. Mm -hmm. He's, I think that... Whoa. He just <laughs> break dances that so randomly. Some intense moves. I know, it's great. Look at those stylish pants, like, holy shit. I'm not sure if that was a glitch or if he actually break dances. Mm, I don't know. Does he actually break dance? I'm hoping. He does! <laughs> they gave him Crocs and a cigarette and we're like, this guy's gonna break dance. This guy's gonna break dance on the train. Yeah, suspenders too. I changed my mind, Zach. My Halloween costume is gonna be him. <laughs> I, I don't gonna... think he gave a name for him, but yes. it's what I'm going with. Don't you think that might be a little obscure? Like, people are gonna ask you who it is. You'd be like, Oh, that guy from the Crystal Bearers who breakdances on the train? 
Trust me, Zach. This video comes out, everyone's gonna be talking about him. Yeah, I guess so. Mm -hmm. You can go viral. We're gonna be internet famous. Make a may may. Mm -hmm. All of Square Enix will just flush a bright red as soon as this video is put out. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to say they're gonna give us the company in, but <laughs> I mean, but they're gonna do it for a gonna fee be of five dollars. Yes. Yeah. Oh, guess what? More gardening. Oh man. Oh man. I like the symmetry you're going for. Yeah. Oh, I was making fun of you because it looks like you were placing them randomly. But that's that's so. <laughs> it is symmetrical. <laughs> Ooh, you rotated the camera. Whoa. I know. So it turns out I'm actually like a gardening pro. I can even grow trees in like a tile. It's very impressive. Uh huh. I mean, just the time you're doing this. Just imagining you yelling at all of them, being like, You, give me more driftwood! <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of the way! Get me another piece of driftwood that looks exactly like the one you just gave me. Whoa, there are physics. This stone rolled. Yep. It's insane. That's what happens when you put some stuff on top of oh, other stuff. the little Asian mouse is so happy. <laughs> Asian mouse. He had a little bandana and a robe. Mm hmm. Seemed very zen. Seems like a Pikachu to me, like a little bit. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Maybe more of a Pichu. P or. Mm. What? <laughs> hey, it's uh, Lail. No, no, it's Kais. We are Lail. Yeah. That is bird person. And look, it's the uke, too. Gotta hand it to Vigali. His Apparently they have, oh. like, a GPS on is the uke. It's the bird person it's called uke? Yeah. So I guess it's somewhere here. Oh. Well, no, that's the name of their race, but they all went extinct. <coughs> extinct, remember? Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I do not remember, but it sounds very sad. I am yep. sorry for the poor uke. So we gotta fight samurai. Goblin samurai now for no purpose. Oh, we got very excited. Sounded expensive. <laughs> they kill you remarkably quickly though. Well, it's like three yeah. hits. I got fucked, man. Ooh. Oh. To be fair, if you can actually throw them across the screen. Seems like they should do a lot of damage when they actually hit you. I don't know. It's weird balancing if it's like you can move actually everything. Yeah. I guess. You could also not have really terrible fight sequences. <laughs> then I guess they'd have to rely on the story. And I, I mm. don't know how well that would go. So the only thing that seems to really do any damage to him is. Uh, the gunpowder barrels. Mm -hmm. So, that's basically what you're going to want to just throw them. And I think Makes you can sense. just actually skip this guy entirely. Like, just run past him. But he challenged you to a fight, Zach. Uh, you weren't chicken. <laughs> you chicken? were not a... What, what was the chicken with legs called? Kip, 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 doba, kiboba. Chicken little? No, the... In Final Fantasy, stupid chicken people. Stupid chicken people. Oh, chocobo. Heard their name. Chocobos. Oh. Yeah, we're no you chocobo. chocobo man. man, that would have been really clever if I had been <laughs> paying enough attention to remember that. Can we just edit out like the five minutes where I was trying to remember the name? <laughs> yeah, you'll seem really smart when you come up with it in like two mm -hmm. seconds. Great. Like, oh man, good one, Logan. <laughs> Zach, you know, you're there, I guess. Mm hmm. Oh. Been getting a lot of fan mail recently. It's not too flattering for you, Zach. People keep asking me, like, why don't you, like, go off on your own and do your own stuff? I'm like, hey, guys, come on, I can't just abandon Zach. I mean, Are you I sure the fan mail weight, didn't... But he's, like, emotional <laughs> dead weight, you know? What? What was that, Zach? Uh, Am I sure the fan mail? I mean, tell your really hey, funny look, joke. Look, it'll show. 
<laughs> like, look, it's a, a kid who's probably or... a character from a Final Fantasy game. Mm -hmm. But anyways, I was going to ask, um, are you sure all your fan mail wasn't death threats saying like, Hey idiot, this is my favorite game. You shut the fuck up or I'll kill you, man. Is, is that how, how your fan mail's been going so far, Zach? Uh, no, but I assume that's how yours is going. Mm, Cause... No. No, I, I just told you it was people saying I'm a really funny guy with really <laughs> clever jokes and that you're kind of dead weight. Oh. But, but you, you don't record the games, Logan. I don't. I have people who do that for me. Oh, damn. Mm -hmm. But we got some buried treasure that wasn't buried. Mm -hmm. is, is this the amazing gameplay you were referring to, Zach? <laughs> um, I, I just thought we might want to take a breather, you know? Just... Get a nice view of the environment. Mm -hmm. it's, you you try and pace it out better, you know. Yeah. Uh, Breathe in the next, autumnal air. Next well, I mean, this game is just play the game, okay? Could you could you do that for me? Just just play it, but how am I gonna pace this out? I mean, there's so much running. Oh. Hey Zach, mm -hmm. you, you let me worry about that stuff, okay? You know, okay. you're doing a great job, okay? Recording stuff. Thank, thanks, mm -hmm. You keep it up. <laughs> and on an unrelated note, if any of the viewers uh, want to play uh, some Final Fantasy Crystal Bears, feel like sending me the footage, feel free, you know? <laughs> what are you going to talk your about? Your info in the comments below. What? What, what are you going to talk about without me, Logan? I'm just going to trash talk you, I assume. <laughs> You'd just be like, wow, Zach, such a fucking asshole. Right. I'd just be like, who misses Zach? I don't. Followed by 18 minutes of crying. Oh. Because Zach, I miss you. I miss you. Oh. Yeah, you're an integral part. Now we've come to even traffic cones on the ice? Along oh, yes. with the weird yeti and the snitches? We're, we're bypassing monsters. those for the time being. <laughs> well, I didn't want to fight, and also the monsters get really weird, this section. Mm -hmm. Flying eyeballs, cat yeti things, my god. No. Their imagination knows no Eventually, bounds. you realize the monster's inside you, though. It's the final boss. You just kill it yourself. No so you can <clears throat> you you can fight all these monsters, including that giant purple thing, which Ooh, is that looks very exciting. My God, it's massive. I I don't even want to try, honestly. <laughs> mm -hmm. King Behemoth, Zach, you can take him. Come on. Maybe I will at some point. Okay. But yeah. Judging by how I'm boring the combat has this. been at this point this point on it. I mean, like... But you could, like, throw stuff at him. Yeah. Or, like... That's what you do throw in all combat at stuff. Though. <laughs> but, like, there's so much different stuff, so... Yeah. You, you You're right about the, that. The, um... Garden powder barrels, and the... Uh, <laughs> wheels, and the... Uh, Assorted garbage and mm, a camera. Mm -hmm. like the goblin samurai who's wearing like a tin pan. Man. Classic game. I mean goblin samurai is just doing his best. Try to be intimidating, but I'm thinking you look Oh, sorry, I was about to say the C B word, uh, I don't think he knew he'd run into a goat fucker. Like I don't think he could handle that. No, probably not. He wasn't prepared for it. He's like, Whoa man, I'm not a goat, back off. But you just started chunking stuff at him, you know, going at him mercilessly. Wow. Oh wow. So <laughs> So, <laughs> I guess we'll uh, revisit that next time. Yeah. Uh, so, what do you think of this section of the Crystal Bearers, Logan? I I loved it. I did. 
it was very intense, you know, when we yeah. uh, played hide and seek and made a garden. It was it was a fun time, Zach. I'm really glad <clears throat> I could spend it with you. It, it was one of the dullest episodes I think we've made up to this point. <laughs> but oh, that's no, just definitely. because of the content. Like, my god. Whew. It's basically just running around occasionally talking to people. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and...